Scary Mysteries, Twisted News, Florida Lawyer, Murder-Suicide, and Italian Murderer Escapes. Shocking Family Murders and Mind-Blowing Prison Escapes. Every week, Twisted News dives into a pair of shocking cases currently happening in our world. This week, we'll explore the tragic murder-suicide case involving a prominent South Florida attorney and the shocking crime spree of an infamous convict from Italy. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted News. Number 1. South Florida Lawyer Murder-Suicide Being in an accident, for instance a car crash, can cause a lot of pain and trouble, especially for those who are directly involved. Aside from the possible injuries that a person might incur, one must also have to deal with the bothersome paperwork concerning insurance and in some cases, lawsuits. In South Florida, one name typically comes to mind when it comes to dealing with these types of cases, lawyer Robert Fenstersheib. He was known all over the state for his very catchy TV commercials and the Tell Robert ad. However, Floridians will now be hearing the jingles differently, this time most likely with a tinge of sadness. On September 9, 2020, news broke out about the tragic passing of the South Florida attorney. Initial reports indicated that the 66-year-old was shot and killed that morning by his eldest son, 35-year-old Michael. He then turned the gun on his father's longtime girlfriend, Pan Hong, before finally shooting himself. This crime occurred inside the lawyer's home in the Oak Ridge community along the 3200 block of Southwest 49th Street in Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood police officer Christian Leda said a 911 call came in around 10 a.m. When first responders arrived, there they found the two men's bodies. Meanwhile, Pan was rushed to Memorial Regional Hospital for emergency treatment. She is stable but remains hospitalized in serious condition. A public statement given by Scott Magger, the victim's longtime friend and fellow attorney, revealed some jarring details about the tragic incident. Michael had been struggling with severe mental health issues as well as drug addiction for much of his life. Magger said that Robert had been doing his best to help his son overcome his battles and as such, the 35-year-old was sent to different types of treatment centers and therapists over the years. Obviously, though, they were unsuccessful in treating him fully. Magger talked highly of his friend, calling him the epitome of greatness. The Fenstership Law Group has handled more than 30,000 cases over the years, and Magger said Robert was a generous human being, having given much of his money and time to different causes in their community. His generosity was also made apparent to those whom he worked with, and this included his other son David and his daughter Stephanie, both attorneys at the firm. In his time, he made sure that all his employees were always taken care of. On their website, the Fenstership Law Group announced that they will remain open to serve their clients. Management also said that they're setting up a Tell Robert Foundation in honor of the late attorney the proceeds of those donations will help to fund local community programs with a focus on mental health awareness as well as drug addiction rehabilitation. There are close to 2,000 murder-suicide cases that occur in the United States every single year, and unfortunately, a lot of those cases involve innocent family members, just like that of lawyer Robert Fenstership. Number 2. Italian Murderer Escapes Again Giuseppe Mastini, one of the most infamous criminal figures in Italy, has once again made it on to the global headlines. Mastini, also known by his moniker of Johnny the Gypsy, has a rather illustrious criminal record that includes multiple thefts, robberies, kidnappings, and murders, which he committed in a 15-year span. He was sentenced to life behind bars in 1989 and ever since then has still managed to cause problems for Italian law enforcement. Born in 1960 in the northern city of Bergamo, Mastini was raised with no education. As he grew up, 
He worked and his family's traveling fair, but the money was short and so naturally he started stealing cash, cars, and other valuables from everywhere he could during their travels. His notoriety, even in his early years, earned him the nickname of Johnny the Gypsy. But his crimes would soon escalate from petty dealings to serious offenses. On the night of December 28, 1975, Mastini, together with an accomplice, tried to rob a train conductor named Vittorio Bigi. They managed to steal 10,000 lira and a watch, but not before something went wrong in their plan, where they ended up shooting and killing Vittorio. They then hid the body in a nearby meadow, and it was found a week later on January 6, 1976. Through the testimony of a witness, the two were arrested on charges of murder, aggravated robbery, and illegal possession of firearms. Mastini was sentenced to 12 years in prison. He was only 15 years old then, and since the accused were just minors, he and his companion were put into a juvenile prison in Rome. Eleven years later, in February of 1987, Mastini's apparent good behavior earned him a few days' leave from jail. He never returned to the facility, though, to continue serving his sentence, but instead, he went into hiding. He was on the run for two years, during which time he committed more heinous crimes. On March 23, 1987, he was riding in a car together with a girl he had just met. Their vehicle was stopped by two police officers as they were investigating a recent string of robberies in the area. A fight then ensued, which resulted in both officers being shot and one of them being killed. The couple then fled, heading to a nearby town where they once again were confronted by police. And like a scene from a Body and Clyde movie, a gunfight ensued which in turn damaged the couple's car. The two barely managed to escape, but the police were uninjured. Mastini and his companion didn't get far before their car eventually broke down. With his gun, he hijacked another car from a couple who were just passing by. The male victim immediately got out, but his girlfriend was too terrified to even move, and so the couple took the petrified girl along with them. A few hours later, with a huge Italian police force on their tail, Mastini and his girlfriend were finally arrested. A new trial took place in 1989, which sentenced him to life in prison for carjacking, murder, attempted murder, and kidnapping. This was the sentence that locked up Johnny the Gypsy in a high-security prison in Sardinia. His companion, Zara Pochetti, was indicated as an accomplice to the crimes. However, her trial couldn't proceed due to her untimely death in December of 1988. Then, on June 30th, 2017, Mastini was once again granted permission to work outside for a short period of time for his good behavior. But just like what happened before, he failed to return to the facility and thus once again became a fugitive. Reports said that this time he escaped to meet up with a new girlfriend, Giovanna Truzzi, who herself was also a convicted felon. She was at the time serving house arrest for credit card theft but slipped away to join Mastini. On July 25th of that same year, the man was captured in the province of Siena. And now, most recently, the 60-year-old took advantage of his temporary release from the maximum security facility of Bada Seros in Sardinia. Prison systems in Italy clearly have some interesting terms in how they work. For instance, after 10 years of serving a sentence, a prisoner can be given permission to spend a few days per year at their home. This explains Mastini's temporary freedom, which he unfortunately took advantage of, and alarms were raised when he failed to return to his cell on Saturday, September 5th. On Tuesday, September 15th, Italian authorities were finally able to recapture the fugitive when he was tracked down at a farmhouse located near the northwestern city of Sassari. Upon his capture, he reportedly told the police that, you always escape for love. I guess like a true romantic Italian, he just wanted to spend some time with his new girlfriend. And this time, he didn't resist the arrest. So there were two of the most heartbreaking and disturbing stories around. The world can be a crazy place, and Twisted News is always sure to show you why.
If you enjoyed watching this video, then please remember to subscribe to our channel. We have new videos coming out every single week for you guys to check out. And check out our new podcast called Every Town, which is available wherever you listen to your podcasts and on this channel as well every Friday. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys soon.